Sponsored by WinWing Technologies. Once again, another bright idea that balances versatility and realism. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. As you know, by now GR are driven by you, the viewers. We satisfy all of the requests you give us, or at least the ones that we can. Times are very difficult at the moment. There is a Ukrainian-Russia war on, and pretty much all of your requests are on that. So we have to be super careful to be respectful, tasteful, and stay within the rules. We think we found a way that will satisfy the latest two of your requests. The first one, a European no-fly zone imposed in part of or all of Ukraine against Russian aircraft. That's topical. The second one is Poland have decided to lend lease their aging MiG-29 fleet to Ukraine so Ukraine can use it in the war. Our usual response would be to do a war games type simulation with the rough geography involved and try and simulate air and ground assets. At the moment, we don't consider that would be respectful to have full war simulations, bearing in mind the war is going on at the moment. Also, we've had a request from ED that we don't show footage that could be used for fake news. So we're trying to stay within these boundaries of A, taste, B, the rules given from ED. So we think we found a solution that satisfies everyone here and we can have a bit of fun along the way, maybe do a bit of learning. We're going to do a fight with human drivers, myself and Simba, outside of the conflict area. We'll be looking at what would happen if the frontline Russian air superiority fighter, the Su-35S, goes up against, firstly, a Polish MiG-29A. That would just about satisfy the request for the Polish lend -Lease. If the MiG doesn't do very well, then we'll bring in the Eurofighter. That will hopefully satisfy the no-fly zone. If Europe imposes a no-fly zone over Ukraine, then we suppose they would use their most common modern fighter, which is going to be the Eurofighter Typhoon. So first, let's look at the Polish lend -Lease proposition. Poland does have more modern fighters than its MiG-29, hence obviously why it's willing to give its MiG-29 away. Let's start with the Russian Su-35S. For close range, we've equipped it with four R-73 lemurs, upgraded modern archers, high off-bore sight missiles, and eight modernized R-77M Adder Cs. These are modern long-range versions of the Adder, ranges over 100 miles. For the Polish MiG-29, we've got legacy weapons, which is exactly what they have in real life in Poland still. They've got the old Archer R-73, four of them for close range, and they have two medium range missiles. Like Ukraine, they are using the Alamo. We've got several flavors. We figure probably the most useful is gonna be the ER, the extended range radar variant. Also, we're gonna have a fuel tank which can be dumped because of course the MiG doesn't carry much fuel. And finally, the Eurofighter two. AIM-132 ASRAMs and eight long-range Meteors. So this aircraft has close-range and long-range weapons. Eurofighter, close-range and long-range weapons. MiG, close-range and medium-range weapons only and much less of them. We'll start with the MiG up against the Su-35, see how it goes. I don't hold up much hope for the MiG-29. Predictions, guys. Does anyone think they can take an Su-35 down in fair conditions with a MiG-29? BVR, no. I think it's a extreme disadvantage, but as we kind of proved with the Legacy Su-27 video, if you can set the battlefield right in the MiG, you have a chance. Welcome in for fight one. I'm in the Polish MiG-29A. I'm 70 miles away at about 25,000 feet. Simba is obviously on the nose at the same altitude. Simba, we're going to go in three, two, one. I'm going to go off comms. We've practiced our aeroplanes a little bit, but we haven't actually practiced fighting properly yet. So this is going to be interesting. First thing I'm going to do is turn my radar on. Here's the problem. The problem is he's got a better radar than me. He can see me further away. He can refresh quicker. He's also got better avionics. He's got long-range missiles. I've only got medium-range missiles. I'm not sure how to beat this guy. The only... Okay, that's him already spiking me. The only way I can think of beating him is to get him into a dogfight. And I don't know how to do that. He's already spiking me. I'm going to go into preemptive notch, I think. I know he's coming from the south. I'm allowed to look at map here. I'm also allowed F5. I know he's down there somewhere. 
Okay, eastbound now and in a potential radar notch. He is, of course, down here somewhere. I'm just going to lure him in a little bit like this. Turn in and have a quick look. What I'm trying to do is get him close, nullifying his missile by doing the notch and get him close so that I can get a shot on him. Okay, that's a missile on me already. That's not good. Diving. Chaff. So I want to notch onto 270. Missile's been defeated. Right, we're now going to head back towards him. See if we can pick him up on radar here. Which we can't, which is annoying. So let's be patient. Just head up again. Okay, there's another missile. Still can't see him. Into a notch. To the east. I'm going to turn my radar off. I don't think I can have a proper fair radar fight. Hopefully beat the missile. Turn back in. Turn my radar on and have a little sniff for him. Should still be around the east here somewhere. Right, sorry, around the south. Radar elevation up. Simba, where are you? Oh, God damn it. He's locking me. He's firing at me. I cannot find. There he is. Have a pop at him. Get out. I'm going to get hit. Oh, God. He just was firing at me that whole time. Uh, don't even need to look at the tank view. You were just firing at me and I couldn't do anything else except notch and die. Uh, let's try that again. Ah, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Changing tactic. I'm going to change tactic here. I can't pick him up radar. I just can't get him where he can get me. I'm going to get as close to him as we can and hide in the terrain. It's the best thing I can think of doing. Okay, he's found me already. That's never good. I can't see him and it's pointless me turning my radar on. In fact, I'm going to have a quick look. There is nothing out there. Radar off. Going into a crank. Got to eat that space up between us, but not die to bloody modern adders. So as fast as I possibly can. He's there somewhere. bit more of a notch to the east. He's about there. Burning towards me. Reverse, turn in a bit further. Just waiting for a missile to slam down on my face any moment. Yep, there it is. Going to a northerly notch. Oh, sorry, a westerly notch. Keep my radar off. I'm going to get my, rid of my fuel tank. Can't be too fast. There he is. I see his con. There is his missile. Right. It's going for a shot. Radar on. Aim it up. Come on, track him, track him, pick him up. Nothing there. Slow down. Notch. Easterly notch. Got to get rid of this fuel tank now. Fuel tank go. Fuel tank off. And have another quick look at my radar. Can't see him. There he is. Missile out. Crank. Oh, god damn it. Ah. Uh. Just don't have the firepower for this. But right, I'm just going to have a look on tack view, see what's going on. 50 miles at that point. I'm going to uh, like a preemptive defensive crank to get close to you, but to try and keep myself safe. You've still got a radar lock. You fire at 38 miles, which is pretty much nothing for an adder C. I pretty much scratched a missile. I reverse. Missile is still Mach 3. I'm keeping super fast. Mach 1.2. Okay, scratch the first missile. Second missile. 
So I'm still in an offensive crank. This one you barely avoided. Okay, I managed to scratch the second missile by, you know, making it turn. The third missile. Nah, just can't do it. Just can't figure out a way of doing it. Right. Oh, God, we're within 10 miles of you. I did manage to get a shot off, you know. Not that it ever would have hit. That's the best I can do in that aircraft, Simba. Nine miles before I die. Uh, let's do a swapsy and see if you can do any better. I'm in the big plane with the big radar and the big missiles now. So on, on. Find Simba. Oh, I found him already. There he is. Look, look at that. Already see him. Unbelievable. Can't lock him yet. Oh, I can already lock him. Right, let's sling a missile at him. Keep him on his toes. That's how much of a better aircraft this is. I keep pressing all the wrong buttons today. I'm hopeless. Add her out. Oh, don't want to be conning. So already we've got an adder out at uh, 100 kilometers, uh, I don't know, 60 miles or something. You can see he's going down now, so he's going into his defensive notch or his crank, whatever he's going to do. And I'm just, oh, I've lost him off radar. How about that? He's gone into a full uh, radar notch now. But eventually he is going to have to come out of that notch. And I'll pick him up when he does. And there he is, look. I don't even need TWS here. I'll just lock him full ball. Stronger lock. Lost him again. He's in a notch again. I want to get to him as fast as I can to keep him out to sea. I don't want to fight him in the hills. He's doing well. He's evading my radar. He's notching somehow. I don't know how he's doing it. Radar right. Radar straight. Radar left. Where has he gone? Where has he gone? I'm not sure where he's gone, but I'm still the aggressor. So let's just chill. Can't have gone far. Simba, where are you? I can only think he's doing one almighty notch to some direction. He's done a good job, whatever he's done. Turns out the Polish do have a way of hiding. Right, well... Fine. I'm gonna head away. Radar off. I'm not gonna fall into his trap. Head back home. Make sure I keep him away from me. Turn my radar on for a little bit. Have a little search. And in fact, I think I better go electro optical only. It's a passive sensor. Have a little skirt round, see what we can see in terms of heat. Amazed how well he's done so far, to be honest. I'm heading back in now. I'm going to turn on my radar, have a quick sweep, see what we can see. There he is. He's got right next to me somehow. I don't like that. Missile out. Where did he go? Where did he go? There he is. He's got awfully close to me. He cannot beat the sensors on the SU-35, and he cannot beat these missiles. <laughs> he did well, bless him. And I'm a bomb truck, I'll just keep firing. <laughs> well done, Simba. Well done. Close, oh, man. close, Simba. Close. I, I actually had visual on yeah. you when you were at the big hill, but I was fumbling my controls and couldn't get into visual uh, quick enough. And then I lost you. Let's go try attack for you. I dipped down behind the mountains as I was trying to like sort my controls. And when I came back, I couldn't see you. And I did a whole loop around that mountain. And I'm like, okay, that's somewhere. Let me go hide in the mountains again. I completely lost you for that whole notch you did. So let's have a look at that notch he did. Now that's the weird thing. I should be picking him up. He's on an offensive crank. That's not a notch. 
don't know why I couldn't pick him up like that, but I couldn't. Uh, he was below the mountain line, um, so you, you lost complete line of sight there, mm. and, you, and then Simba starts uh, coming in with a really aggressive move as you guys are going head to head. Oh, it looks like I should have had line of sight. I don't know why I couldn't see him. Maybe I was doing something wrong. But anyway, um, I mean, I've been looking down enough. He's uh, yeah, yeah. My view, he was com completely below the mountains. All right. All right. Well, it worked because I'm just sitting here like a lemon. I can't see him. Now I get to this point here. And I give up. I say, okay, look, I can't find him. He snuck into the mountains or something. So then what I did is I turned around and I went back home. Okay, I did it. Not quite yet. Oh, hey, here's I, where you guys get really at that. close. Look at that. God, I should have given up, given up earlier. We didn't that see is, each other. That is where I fumbled my controls. Right there. I had visual on you and I was looking down to see why can't I get it into visual mode. When I looked back up, I couldn't see you again. Wow, look at that. We were two miles away from each other, and I didn't see you at all because I turned away. God, that was so close. And Simba was chasing after you for, for a good ten miles. Yeah. yeah, that was a potential. That was a potential win from the uh, from the fulcrum. Wow, it shows it is possible then, because that should have been a win right there. That should have been an ET at the yeah. bot. A better pilot that, like I said, I I had a switch in the wrong position, so I couldn't flip over to visual or to Let's like see. being able to lock you up with my visual. Right. Otherwise, I would definitely would have had a shot on We better you. do that one more time then, because it looks like you have the ability to get close in with the fulcrum. Right, well, this is turning into quite an interesting one, Valley Humanoids. There she is. Ah, 150 kilometers. 150 kilometers, 75 miles. Right, I'm not going to scare him this time. Let's see if we can keep him on the radar. I need him on the radar. I am going to reduce my altitude a bit, though. 80 kilometers, 50 miles. Level out there. Put some pressure on him. Fire a missile. Missile away. It's notching right. Right, so I'm going to make sure I don't allow him into those mountains. Let's keep him under plenty of pressure here. He's not managed to notch me, look. He's 50 kilometers, 30 miles. He's in trouble. Missile out. Box three. I don't think he can win this now. He's not going to the mountains quick enough. 40 kilometers, 25 miles. Can't get behind those hills, look. 30 kilometers. Oh, I've lost him. Right. Okay, sir. Where are you? Radar down. There he is. Missile out. He's behind another hill. God damn you, Simba. Die. Missile out. I'm a missile truck. I'll just keep firing all day. Ah, he's, he keeps dodging. I'm just going to track him. I'm not going to fire any missiles at him. The missiles have gone active anyway. They'll probably just hound him down. Oh, he's down. Right. Mig can't win this, uh, I don't think. So I think that'll do. Well tried, Simba. Well tried. But you didn't manage to notch my radar this time, simple as that. I think we'll end that there. It's a bit like shooting fish in a barrel against the MiG-29, to be honest. I mean, you did manage to get close to me, but I don't think that'll happen many times, and especially now i figured out my radar. Um, anything else before we move on to a more of a fair fight? The Eurofighter. I'm in the SU-35 to begin with. Simba is in the Eurofighter. To fair things up, I've now had to put jammer pods on this because he's got an inbuilt jammer, and therefore... I need to counter that with my jammer. In terms of radar cross-section, these aircraft are very different. In DCS at least, I don't know about real life. But in DCS, the Eurofighter is radar cross-section of one meter squared. That's pretty small. The SU-35 is 5.5. That's very big. So he's going to see me a lot earlier than I see him, which is going to be interesting. And I don't know how that's going to work, but we're going to see. Simba, are you ready? Jammer on. Already see me, has already fired at me. Let's see if I can see him. I cannot see him, and I not, can't even see his strobe. So I can't see anything of Simba. There he is. Let's fire on him. Missile out. I've broken his shot with my jam. This is going to be one giant slugging match. If you're wondering how I can fire on him when he's jamming, my missile has fire on, sorry, home on jam ability. Home on jam ability. He's going into a notch. If 
fire another one just to keep him busy. His missile's coming towards me. I am getting out of here. Chaff out just to make sure. Zero nine zero for the notch. And recommit. Oh my god, what happened there? I didn't even get a warning. I didn't even, I didn't get an LWR warning. That was weird, I just died. What a beast. The viewers are saying, if you fire that home on jam mode, like you did, apparently I don't get a warning. A pitbull warning, which I was unaware of. So that's interesting. So let's see what happened. You fired a meteor at 60 miles. I couldn't even see you at that point, even with your uh, HCM on. We've both got jammers on now. That missile, ah, oh, your missile is max six. Then again, so is mine. You went into a preemptive notch. I didn't. Oh, I said, look at that. That missile died. That missile just died, look. That one. So the just first swallowed. missile, the first missile, you were not jamming yet when I launched it. Right, how interesting. The second missile, I fired home on jam. This is going to be a weird fight, guys. Power on. Radar on. Find him. Radar out. Jammer on. Uh, this going to be hard. Come on, Simba, where are you? Up here, up here, up here. Where are you? Where's your jammer? There he is. Right, supercap. Missile now. Okay. Got home on jam on him. Now I'm going to try and ditch his missile. So. Got to ditch that missile. Going to go into a full notch on 090. Ditch that stupid bloody... Uh, Home on jam missile that he's fired at me. There it is. Right, hopefully that's beaten. Heading back in now. Radar on. Where are you, Simba Wimba? There he is. Let's get another one out on him. Missile out. Back into a notch. Oh, this is so hard. See if any of my missiles are going in. Go on, get him, get him, get him. I don't think I can win this, guys. Tracking you, Simba. I'm still tracking you. There you are. There he is, look. Will it get him? No, I think he's killed it. Yeah, he's killed it. Right, let's release the attack view. This is weird and new to me, and I don't know how to fight it. So, what happens is 52 miles, Simba gets his first missile. I can't fire that quickly because um, your RCS is small. It takes me a while to, to be able to get a lock on you. There, I can get the lock. 49 miles, so I'm a few miles behind. Meteor's out. Meteor is Mach 6. Mine is also Mach 6. I know how mine lofts, and yours doesn't. That's a bit odd. Oh, now here's the thing. At the halfway point, my missiles are down to Mach 3. Yours are Mach 6.5, so you've got much faster missiles. don't think that's realistic, but let me know what you think. So yours get to me way before... Mine get to you. Yeah, my mine are out of energy, but you got miles better missiles, Simba. Yours are hitting me at Mach 5. Mine, by which time, mine are Mach 2 and only halfway across. I don't think Cap I can win that. Well, actually, um, well, let's uh, um, play to your um, your jet's weaknesses here. So uh, Simba is able to see you from a long ways away and shoot you with a meteor. So first off, I dive to the deck and go into a defensive notch and try to get into the mountains and try to sneak up on him and then use your jet's advantage at that point. That's so weird because this is such a good plane uh, as priority. We'll try it one more time, Simba. Hey, buddy, viewers, I don't think this is winnable personally. I don't know even though I don't know whether to jam or not to be honest. I'm going to try not jamming because it doesn't seem to help me. I'm going to go into an offensive notch to try and get close to the island but Put some chaff out you never know it might help. I think those uh, meteors might be a bit too good. Oh go away Simba seriously. My radar on, see if I can find him. Hopefully being down here will kill the power of those meteors.
Oh, God damn it. I can't do it. Boom. Yeah, so we're going to missile off. I go into immediate offensive. Uh, not notch. Uh, crank. Simba fires at. I'm not using my jammer this time, so we can't use home on jam. Simba waits to 45 miles this time and fires. That's so annoying. That missile doesn't even, uh, doesn't even loft. I'm already on the deck. So I'm already on the deck when the missile is 40 miles away. It doesn't slow down, look. It just goes Mach 5 all the way. It even hits me over Mach 4. First missile. I don't, I don't know any way of beating this aeroplane. I can't think of any way of beating this aeroplane. Uh, so I guess I'm giving up and we're going to try the other way around, Simba. Okay, fellow viewers. See how this goes. There he is. Wow. That's a lot easier. <laughs> That's a lot easier. Look at that. I'm firing already. Hounding him down like a dog. I think these missiles are silly, personally. I don't think they're beatable. They're not even lofting. Look, they're just going straight forward. Look at them track him. Wow. I don't think there's anything he can do. Oh, he's beating that one, look. Fair play. No, look, they've not beaten them. They're going after him still. These missiles are ridiculous. Look at that. Look at them. Homing on them like a dog. Oh, my God. They're so good, look. 3,000 knots. Poor Simba. Also, we can't break my lock. My radar is so powerful in this, he can't break the lock. That can't be right. That can't be right. Surely can't be right. Poor old Simba. Yeah, there's nothing he can do. This is stupid. There's nothing you can do, Simba. Yeah, do I just want to see the tag. Yeah, because I tried. And so yeah. I fired at 55 miles. You went into immediate offensive. You didn't even fire, and I don't blame you because your missiles are go half as far. Crap. Oops. Not crap. They're really amazingly. If anything, they're slightly OP. Uh, and these don't even loft. Look, and they just stay at Mach 5 all the way, and you can't break the track. And also, you can't notch my radar. This has got my, I've got an unnotchable radar. You couldn't break my lock look and they just i mean look what you have to do to evade them yeah that that's where i pulled the cobra <laughs> oh well done it did actually work sort of as well look that's just silly it's just, there's no point at this point guys it's unbeatable uh is it realistic i don't know i personally think not but again i'm not going to claim to be an expert and i don't know much about meteor missiles i'm gonna let you guys be the judge at the end of the day i think most people watching this video probably want this to be real and why don't we just let them have it? Anything from you guys otherwise? I think um, the only possible way you might have a chance is if you just turn tail and run and floor it. <laughs> and run back to Russia. Absolutely, guys. So just to summarize then, MiG-29, no chance in heck unless you can get him into within 10 miles, which is hard as we found out, but sort of possible. There might be, you know, a slight bit of chance if there's well, plenty of hills in Ukraine. I'm not sure there is, but... Otherwise, well, no. Uh, and the Typhoon in DCS is such a mismatch to the SU-35 that there's nothing that SU-35 can do at range here with these as they are. With Again, hashtag, this is not scripted. This is real. We don't lie. We don't do anything. You know, it's just how it is. Anything you guys want to add or take away from that? Hard to defeat a missile that isn't trying to lead you. No, it doesn't. It doesn't lead and it doesn't loft. It just goes straight to you. It's a bit like a bullet, but it's twice as fast as a bullet oh well guys we've done the best we can with what we feel that we can do in good taste at the moment i hope you otherwise enjoyed that and we will see you later